Hey everyone, I'm Angela. Welcome to Tuesday Gray with Find of the Week. So lately, I've been going through my entire wig collection, deciding which ones that I'm going to sell. And it looks like I'm going to be selling quite a few of them, and I'm hoping to have that shop door open very soon. But while I was looking, I went back in time, back to 2018, and I found this little gem. Now, I originally uh, reviewed this wig back when I was very, very new to the world of wigs. Um, I chose basically by style and color. I didn't know anything about wig caps. I didn't understand lace fronts. I didn't understand monotops, any of that. I basically just said, oh, I like how it looks on the model. I think I'll get it. And so this was one of the original ones that I got. And this wig is Gabor. I'm not exactly sure yet whether she's going to go into my wig store, but I think that she may. Um, here she is in my hand. And one of the reasons that I'm doing it this way is so that you can see Gabor held right up to my white hair, my own white hair. Now let me pause let me pause this video for a moment and show you. Here, if you are white like me, I am super, super white. Full disclosure, I have a little bit of white um, hair powder up in the front. That's because that's where I am the most um, sparse. And so if I'm going to have a natural hair day, I'll always either use some true hair color and lift or I'll use some Batiste spray. If you follow me, you've seen me do that before. But here is Gabor, and lovely, lovely wig. She is a lace front. I should say here is On Edge by Gabor. And she has a very nicely done lace front, as you can see, right, all the way across. And it doesn't quite come down to the ear tabs. That's usually a little bit more money, but she comes right to the beginning of where the ear tabs show. And then she's got a partial mono top, which means this is the only place that you can um, part her, as opposed to a full mono top where you can part in the middle, on the left, on the right. If you're new to wigs, scroll down and you'll see that I've done some videos about monofilament, the types of caps. Just scroll down and you'll see those videos. And then, of course, she's got the open wefting and the covered nape and the, the adjusters, Velcro adjusters, and the ear tabs with the stay in them. So very nice wig. The board did a wonderful job on this wig. Now, um, as I was looking at this wig, and let me just see if I can find this part of the video. Okay, now one of the things that I want to show you real quickly here is that when I reviewed On Edge by Gabor, uh, you can see here that I was struggling with the hairline, with that bang area. And it was driving me crazy because it was falling into my face. I did not realize back then that this monofilament area right here gave me some wonderful parting options. So, in, so I could have had her more equidistant to where she probably should have, was designed to fall in the first place. So just a word to the wise, if you're new to wigs, always know that if you've got a monofilament partial or a full monotop, you do have parting options. And so I could have saved myself a little frustration there, but this is really a beautiful wig. And as I was looking at her, I decided to, because I knew Tuesday Wig of the Week was coming up and I wanted to bring a couple of other wigs to you. So if you, if you like Gabor and you'd like to know where you can purchase her, I did find her, where else, at Wig Studio One. 
she is, you can see her price point right there. She comes in lots of different colors, and you can read all about her here. And again, I may sell her. I'll make that decision in the next few days. So as I always say, if you're interested in this wig and you think you might like to purchase her in the color Sugared Silver, um, if you're interested to see if she might be available for sale, head over to the Community tab. And let me show you where the Community tab is. You just look on the Community tab. See my mouse wiggling right here in the middle of the screen? And you're going to click on Community. And anything that's for sale will be right here um, so that my subscribers can see what's for sale first. It will always hit this page first. So those of you who are subscribers will get at least a bit of a leg up on what's for sale. I'd like to try to do that maybe a day or two before I post it to the web, again, just out of respect for my subscribers. But other than that, at least for right now, you can find On Edge by Gabor over at Wig Studio One. So as I was looking around for the gray wig find of the week for you, I ran into this particular wig. I wasn't really looking for her, and that's usually how it happens. I'm looking at other things, and then I'll find something that I haven't seen before. So I found this one, also available at Wig Studio One, and her name is Hallie by Envy. Now let me just quickly say, I know I show a lot of Wig Studio One. This is not a sponsored video. I just love doing business with Wig Studio One. And, and if I can, I always like to give them the business because I am a wig reviewer and they give wonderful service. So, um, so Hallie has a mono top. So instead of having that small, smaller, I should say, it's still a very generous top, mono top, but instead of having the smaller mono filament, the monofilament would cover the whole top of the cap, so you would have lots of parting options when you see a wig that has a full mono top. And Hallie does. She had that beautiful full mono filament top. And remember I showed you Gabor had the partial mono filament top. They both have that poly strip, but you can see the poly strip on the, uh, the Halley wig is much larger. So a lot of this is going to depend on your needs as a wig wearer. Are you fully bald? Do you need that poly strip right there so that you can put some wig tape on there? Uh, do you not need that. I buy both types. I buy the full mono top with the big poly strip or I'll buy something like this that doesn't have that big mono top. A lot of it just depends on your needs and quite honestly what you've learned about wigs. As I said before, I had no idea about any of this mono filament this, that, or other. I didn't understand the difference between lace front, machine front. I just looked at the style, looked at the color. So as always on my channel, I'm trying to just add some value, add some knowledge about wig, wigs. Uh, and I think that most of the good reviewers do that for us. You know, they tell us something about the wigs. Okay. And I happen to, I don't have any wigs that are like this. She's, she, you could see she's layered, nicely layered around the face. She's got bangs underneath, looks like they're undercut underneath that top layer. And if you look at other pictures of Hallie, and I always love this bob cut with bangs. However, the bangs right here look a little bit more fringy. Don't look a little bit more, um, what's the word I'm looking They look a little bit more spliced, for lack of a better word. But again, you can see that there are layers cut into this wig. And then here's another view. Isn't she beautiful? <laughs> Another view. And so I said, you know what? I think I'm going to try this wig. So this wig will be arriving. I was hoping it would arrive Thursday of this week, but that's 
two days from now, and it's not going to happen. It's, it's coming late Thursday night. I didn't get the order in quickly enough, I guess. So I will be reviewing Hallie next Thursday, and when I review Hallie, I will be comparing her to Gabor, and I will also be comparing her to another wig that I purchased and a from the Affordable series, and that wig is Chase. And Chase, you could see big price point difference, but I'd really like to show you those three wigs together because Chase frames the face. She uh, doesn't have all the bells and whistles, but I reviewed her, I think, about a month ago, and I really did like Chase. So I like to show an affordable wig something that's similar to the wig that, that uh, is a little bit higher end. So that's all coming next, um, next Thursday. So I hope that you'll come back next Thursday, not this Thursday, but the following Thursday where I will be comparing those three wigs, On Edge by Gabor, Chase by Paula Young, and my new wig, Hallie, by Envy. Just a little bit of housekeeping. I've been having some issues with my microphone that I normally use. Don't have time to troubleshoot it. I'm trying to get my wig store up. So I wonder if you'll help me out a little bit and comment in comment below and let me know how the audio sounds to you. Uh, I'll hear it myself too, but I'm hoping it's going to be okay to save a little bit of time on editing. So glad to have you with me today. If you like, give it a like, hit the little bell icon and subscribe. And always remember everybody, look for the silver lining. Bye-bye.